Explorer.com, Adam Sandoval and Parker Turley here giving you guys previews to the state championships. And we've worked our way to the 2A Division I state championship between Post and Shiner. Now, Adam, there's a lot of the talent in this game, and I know you've covered Shiner before, and you know you talk about a physical game and a physical team. Shiner definitely represents that, don't they? Yes, Shiner Both teams undefeated. Post comes in at 15-0, and and Shiner comes in at 13-0. and And it's definitely an even matchup. Post gives up four points per game on defense and averages 44 points per game on offense. And Shiner averages 50 points per game and gives up 11 points. So you look at those stats, both teams' defenses are very stout, and both offenses average a lot of points. So somebody's going to have to budge definitely in this matchup. And yeah. you Definitely. And players to watch in this game for post, Ashton Jefferson, speedy, quick back, get them out to space for post. They've relied on that all season long, and they relied on that last year to get them to state. And then linebacker and QB, Sladen Pittman, he's thrown for 1,300 yards through the air, and he's also rushed for another 800 yards. How important is it for this post team to get their running attack going and establish that early in the game? I mean, it's certainly kind of important to have a problem. Key players for Shiner. You know who everybody talks about, Doug Brooks, big linebacker, running back. You know, you saw him in person. Just talk about the physical specimen he is and what he is able to do. I mean, Definitely, and also another key player for them, Dalton Brooks, receiver explosive. They look to get him in space. You know, it's important to have key receivers to make plays when you need them, especially when you have a rushing attack like that, just to add a little bit of balance. And those shots will be open if they load the box after rushing all game long. And definitely, and Zane Rhodes – Linebacker has a big impact as well. Look for him to dominate up front and get involved in stopping the run game of post. So we're going to talk about the keys of the game for post. So you talk about battle of the trenches. How important is that in this game?
Definitely, because both of these teams rely on the rushing attack heavy. So post developing a passing game to complement the run game is definitely going to be another important factor. If they can, if Shiner starts to stop the run, well, post has to be able to open up their playbook a little bit and, you know, pass the ball around a little more. And the keys for Shiner, we talked about battle of the trenches for both teams, but you know, stopping the run game defensively. How big is it for the defensive line and linebackers, the front seven, to stop that run game of post? Definitely, and you talk about, you know, big plays. Linebackers definitely can provide that for you. So getting to our predictions for this matchup. Shiner versus Post, 2A State Championship, Division One. So who are you taking? Definitely, and you could we could see a lot of points that are going to be put up in this game because both offenses run the ball a lot, and they hit on those deep, long runs, definitely. And so I think I'm going to take Shiner as well. I'm going to go 42 to 37. Shiner takes a victory over Post, and they ride the rushing attack to victory. So thank you guys for tuning in to our state previews here at FridayNightGlory.com. Follow us all week for coverage of the state championships and as well 5A and 6A state playoff football as well. We'll have all the coverage. Adam Sandoval and Parker Turley checking out.